your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Hot fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, <Heather. laughs> Oh, we got a quad. With your way. host, Mike Mitchell. Oh, he's coming this way, Noah. BC Outdoors Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, Port Boathouse, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we got a couple special guests with us today. We got uh, Corey Bailey, good buddy. Welcome to the show, Corey. Thanks for having me. And then of course Brent from uh, Browns Bay Resort. Welcome. Welcome back. Thanks for yeah, coming. I'm excited because we've been talking off and on for a little bit about this fishery and stuff. And the last time we were up here was late late October and we're fishing for chums. A little bit different season. The weather's gonna be up and down a little bit, but we got some great opportunities, right? So fill us in on what we got going on. Yeah, absolutely. We got a lot of uh, Chinooks still around in the area and then uh, the Northern Coho run is starting to come in right now. So there's a lot of other species still out there. So yeah. we'll see what we get. Awesome. And of course the run from, from Nanaimo was two hour straight shot. Oh, that 120 on the highway was, really was yeah, easy no. and just easy breezing, right? But elaborate a bit more on exactly where we are then. So we're two hours north from the ferry from Nanaimo, and yep. we're only about uh, 30 minutes from downtown Campbell River. Okay. So, and yeah. we're fishing kind of what they call the Inside Passage, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we got Ripple Rock down below us, which is famous for, of course, that uh, getting rid of the big yeah. explosion. We saw some of those pictures last time we were up here in the resort, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, lots of history in this area, right? Yeah, lots absolutely. Yeah, the the resort started in the 40s, and uh, now we took it over and keep on going. But it's only 10 minutes away to the fishing ground, so yeah. it's great. Well, speaking of fishing grounds, you guys want to hang here or you want to go get the Let's boat? Go fish. Let's go oh, get yeah. some fish. All right. Let's Let's go. Go. All right. Seventy-eight and eighty-eight. There we go. There we go. First fish on already. Right on. Nice. It starts. Oh, there we go. I gotta keep control of him here. I don't think he's that big, but it's a coho for sure. You can just feel the different head yeah. shakes, eh? <laughs> All right, started fishing what fifteen minutes ago? Yeah, not even. Nice. First tacked, we saw the boat in front of us double up. So we're getting excited, we figured it might have been to school. Oh, there he is, Fairy surfers back there. Black glow flasher with the BC Outdoors teaser head on it. We'll procure diced up bait. Wanna just let him go? Uh, we'll see. What do you got here? Get a chum, Brent. There you go. Wanna net him or you just wanna? You'll get that and I'll just make sure. Okay. We're about three weeks early for the chum derby though, aren't we? Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit early for that. Do we weigh this one in anyway? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll just pop this guy off here. Corey. Just pop him off or net him? Yeah, we'll just really, yeah, go ahead, put him in the net. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll just slide it. Grab the pliers. Yeah, it's a little early for yeah. some. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. We just started. It's all right. Okay. Try to oh, he's support missing, him under the missing half his tail a bit. Yeah, him under the tail. Bye bye. Yeah, just go ahead. We'll go down. There he goes. I'm gone. Right on, great Fuck. start. Looks like he got in a fight with the seal. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, oh, half his tail was missing. Oh, really? Poor guy. Huh. All right, let's, right on. let's do it again. Back up here. Hey, tap there. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Nice. Look at that, huh? See what I did there? Yeah, that oh, little, oh. oh, it's okay. No, it's oh, just flash or pop. That's all. It's a flash or pop. It's coming out the boat. That's something small. I don't even want to net them or. Oh, it's a nice cold. Oh, yeah, you want them? Yeah. All right. Beauty. Nice cold? Yeah. yeah. Nice cold. Should have one wild, one hatchery in this area right now, right? Yeah, one yeah. and one. Yeah, one and one. 
Use the whole handle. Use the whole handle. You got it. Eight feet of it. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice job. Right on. Good job. job. <laughs> awesome. Beauty. That was interesting though. He saw that little tap, blinded. right? Yeah. A little tap, and all I, he did is let out another two feet yeah, down on the downrigger. Right? But as soon as you let it out, there's pliers there. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, never mind. Black glow flash or teaser head. You gonna switch over, Corey? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, if you're getting two off this to my nine, I'm, I'm switching over. Yeah. Oh, it is a chum. It's a chum. Oh yeah. Okay, let it go. Wow. Yeah. We'll see. No, we'll oh, just... you want to smoke them anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chum again. Chum again. <laughs> it's a nice clean chum. Wow. <laughs> Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is fueled by the Sport Fishing Institute of BC. Obviously, we got lots of choices of teaser. Brent was saying probably something with a glow on it. These two have glow on it, but he wants something with a green on it too, right? So yep. lots of choices, right? We kind of a UV green, right? We've got some green with glow, um, but you liked kind of this one here too, right? Yeah, that's what Brent was recommending for sure. And so. that's not glow though, that's nope. just a chrome, but it'll still, it'll give some flash down there, right? Yep. A little bit of an overcast day, running glow flashers. So that'll that'll probably enhance the enhance the bait a bit too, right? Yeah, and he knows also, the area, so. Yeah, and we're also running that green, that green chartreuse dyed procure bait down there too right so we can switch up too. we have some just salted we have some um, just a UV coated brine one and then the green so maybe what would be good to do here is switch up on yours once you bring this up okay just put down one of the blue brined ones or the, the UV coated brines or the salt plain salted one and give that a try okay with that teaser head, teaser head we'll just give it we'll give it something else and we just finished tying up some extra liters and we're using small firecracker anchovy so we shrunk down that that stinger hook down so it's only about an inch in between now so uh, just so that trailer hook is right at the zone where they're going to be biting. So modifying everything to kind of fit the areas, right? And that's the, the key to, to, to fishing. That's why everybody kind of laughs when they, you know, they say, look at all the gear you have. But really, if you fish in all these different areas, you need to have all these different things. And yeah, you bet Who doesn't like shopping for tackle, right? No, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, right. you do. Yeah, that's right. Pop that, <laughs> pop that one up then. Right on. There's something bouncing it. That's fish. Is it? Weeds don't bite. <laughs> Weeds don't bite Enjoy. back. Got a chump. Is there autumn? Yeah. Rockfish maybe? Oh, but it's... whatever it is, it's not gonna be big. Let's have a look, see what we got here, huh? A little coho? Oh, oh, baby, pink salmon. Is it? Huh? Oh, yeah, look at them. Massive. Juvenile Chinook, maybe? Jack? Yeah, just watch. You got glasses on there, Corey? Yeah. Don't wear glasses. I don't know, it's good just to the hooks. Oh, yeah. A little pink. A little pink. Nice. And gone. There you nice. Go. Yep, straight Thank down. You. Yep, nice little pink. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. I got uh, Rob Elcock from Sport Fishing Institute of BC, actually, the president of the Sport Fishing Institute of BC, yeah. Rob. Uh, welcome to the show. I think one of the biggest things we want to talk about is, is who is the SFI and what they do, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, the, the short pitch is the Sport Fishing Institute is a group of uh, dedicated volunteers mm -hmm. that uh, come from the industry and uh, they're, we get together and we're here to promote a sustainable sport fishing in British Columbia and yeah. protect the fishery as well. And some, and some of the things that, that you guys lobby for, you know, off top of mind is, is halibut quotas, 
and that kind of stuff, right? So maybe touch a bit on that too. Yeah, well, the halibut uh, quality issue was a big one. Yeah, we, huge. We were very involved in that. But yeah, it's protecting all of our fisheries, mm -hmm. whether it's crabbing, prawning, halibut, salmon. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a very important part of the, the structure in British Columbia. It's part of our livelihood. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also a, a very beneficial, uh, you know, we, we create 50% of the GDP here in British Columbia yeah. with sport fisheries. So. And, and I think some of the other questions that, you know, I get is people are in the industry, how, do, how would they get involved? What can they do to get involved and, and support you guys, right? Yeah, well, it's very important that, that in, all anglers get involved in mm -hmm. this. There's 300,000 of us in British Columbia. Uh, as I said, we're mostly a, a industry association, but we're affiliated with Pacific Salmon Foundation, BC Wildlife mm -hmm. Group and the Sport Fishing Advisory Board. Mm -hmm. So yep. uh, anywhere that an, an individual can get involved with any one of those groups uh, will help the cause. Yeah. Okay, thanks for sharing, Rob. That's awesome. Great information. And again, it just goes to show how important the SFI and CTAG is to everybody, right? Thank you. And folks, for more tips and conversations like this, make sure you check us out on next week's episode. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Fish on. Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. So we're just gonna put down two more rods and give ourselves four rods out there since we're allowed to. We thought we might as well increase our chances. So we're gonna throw some uh, extra hardware down. We're gonna put two different spoons down. I'm gonna run a micro flasher. Or are you gonna write a regular size flash? Yeah, you that? betcha. I got one picked out here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna juice mine up with some uh, pro cure anchovies. That's a good call. Yeah. Well too. Just give it another hint, right? You never know. We just gotta get uh, had a bit of a slow run here, so we haven't got any fish in about an hour or so. So but nobody else is either, which is a good thing. So it's not just us. Gotta try our options. So yeah, we got we got a we got a white flash fly on. I got a. I got bait. Yep. Nothing in the last hour on either, so we'll put a couple spoons on and yeah. see where we're at. Yep. Hopefully we can uh, stir something up. There we go. All right. There we oh, go. Oh, that's a bit better. That's a little better. You need this rod up? Nope. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Let me get the bait box out of the way. I don't think it's that big. Well, it's all right though. That's better yeah. than our last little pink anyway. Yeah, I hope it's not another one. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a little shake, might be a coho. Yeah. You betcha. So would you get that one on the, what's on that side now? That was on the, the fluorescent uh, green, oh, green teaser head that uh, Brent recommended there. Yeah. That's with the salted anchovy. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's, that's got some weight to him. Yeah. Oh, oh there he is on the surface surf. back there. Pressure's on. The Pressure's the on. Oh, yeah. Pressure's on. Oh, double header, double, oh, double header. header. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, We're gonna go under. I'll go under. I'll go under. You betcha. There we go. go. Double, double up. Thank you. Ah, I think it was just tuckered out. Nice. Hope we don't get that sea line seeing all this. <laughs> that's okay. Well, that's a beautiful fish. That's Look a little at that guy. That's spring. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him to the boat anyway and have a look at him. Beautiful. Yeah. Water's so clear here. Look at that double header. How can you beat that, huh? You want me to slow it down for you guys? Nope. No, I'm good. No, that's okay. You good? Just, just I'm, I'm not even fighting yeah. my fish, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it. There you go. A little Chinook. Nice. Well, that's there a beautiful go. fish, man. Yeah. That's, not as, that's not as small as you thought. No, that's nice. There we go. This guy's waking up here too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh. Told you I was waiting for the Chinooks. Right on. I'll let you get him out of there so I can get in the Put net. Put this in the box. Oh, well, there's mine's on the surface. Caught in here. Let's see if we can get the second one in. Oh, he's hooked good. Okay, Corey, hold on a sec, bud. I gotta get oh, this yeah. rod out of the way. Yeah, rod that, move that rod there. Sorry, man. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. Oh, we got one chance of this guy. Oh. That's a little bit better, eh? Oh, yeah, this is I'll a good size. I'm gonna back up here. Yeah. He's a good size, eh? Yeah. There you go, Brent, ready? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at the size oh. of that coho. Oh, is that a coho? Yes. Holy. 
That is nice. Wow. That's a coyote caught on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the That's size of that pig. <laughs> that is a big no. That's a beautiful fish. That's what we were looking for Holy right there. Holy smokes. That's what we were looking for. I was so I was so focused on watching Corey's fish. I wasn't even looking at this one. <laughs> oh, nice. Holy. Nice. Look at that. This thing's uh, yeah. So here we go. We got a nice, nice size uh, northern coho here. And then a nice Chinook too, and that's measured out about 68. 68, yeah. So just well, just, well within yep. keeping it, but it'll be a beautiful He'll be good piece. eating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Double then this header. guy, like I wasn't even paying attention to this guy. I was watching you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it went for a run. I thought, oh, oh it's, a seal's got it. But yeah. no, nice decided it woke up. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's do it again. The fish, catch some more fish here, right? Yeah. That's yeah, that's the northern coal at this time of year for sure. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Tackle and gear. Here is what we've been using on the water today. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods of choice today were the Rapala Classic Moochers and the Medium Light Action. And then the reels, we used two different reels today. This is the Shift with 25 pound Elite Suffolk's line. And then we also use the Red Classic Moocher with 25 pound Suffolk's Elite line as well. Um, now, bringing down to a new area like Browns Bay, you kind of don't know what to expect, so you kind of run through the gamut of tackle and stuff, right? So um, we ran different flashers and different combinations, but this one seemed to work the best today. This, is, again, is the, the black with the double glow. Uh, you can see the new BC Outdoors custom teaser head. This is in the bullet roll. You can see if you zoom in here and have a quick look, you can see all the teeth marks uh, from today's setup too. Uh, number two, Barbless Gamagatsu Treble followed by the new uh, Big River uh, bait hook here. And this is a size three aught or four aught. Uh, line again is the suffix um, fluorocarbon. Again, everything I put down in, in whether it's fresh water or salt water, we're using fluorocarbon just for that invisibility and that bite uh, strength as well is important. Um, Procure uh, came into play again as usual. We put down the um, anchovy super gel on uh, behind the teaser heads, kind of like almost behind the ear type thing just to, to leach out as well too. And I think what the real difference was is us catching lots of fish today was uh, using the dyed baits. And I just kind of left it in the bag here for you to see this, but this is that uh, chartreuse bait. And you can see in here that it just, uh, it adds a little bit of pop, a little bit of color, and it, it actually streams out a nice scent as well too, and uh, out of it too. And it seemed to really work the difference here. So again, Biggest thing again, we're on our, our BC Outdoors boat. The downriggers, I mean, can't say enough about the Scotty downriggers. Um, Lowrance Electronics, again, trying to find those bait balls, the structure, everything is so important to be able to read those sounders. And then of course, the truck to get us here. Without that truck, we're not going anywhere. And, and of course, that's the 2014 BC Outdoors Tundra. Folks, we're gonna follow up a quick list for you, get your notepads out, and we'll see you out on the water. All tackle and gear is available at Harbor Chandler. <laughs> yes! Going on! Good. Yeah, that's a lot better for sure. Nice. So we had a little bit of time in between fish, but we stuck it out because we knew that the fish were in here, right? Oh yeah, no, for sure. For a couple weeks now, they've been really great here, so. And so, good good, good segue to my next question is, <laughs> so Times, we're obviously up in Brown, not obviously, we're up in Browns Bay here, and um, Talk about the seasons. I know Browns Bay has really become known. Oh, that's a good oh, fish. Go. Spring up. Nice. Browns Bay is is known for their big chum derby you guys do every year, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, in October. But but you also, I'm going to cut you off there. We'll talk about the chum derby. But you also have fantastic fishing throughout the summer, too. That's what people don't understand. You got the RV park. You got all these other stuff that's going on. But the fishing is like we, I see the cabin I'm staying in for right now. Yeah, it's like we're right only there. 10 minutes away for sure. Yeah. yeah. But in the seasons that are up here fishing, like what what is what's prime seasons for you guys up here then? And and species. Oh, oh that's <laughs> all right. That's, awesome. yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I wasn't paying much attention yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, just ignore me. Yeah, <laughs> ignore me. That's okay. Fight your fish. No, yeah. we're pre we're pretty much uh, going from uh, June straight on. I mean. There's always fish. We actually even have winter fishing here. So oh, okay. So you got full season then. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. August, and, and, it really and the, picks and up. And the fishing has come back in the last few years on the inside straight. And partial, 
par partial is, is due to conditions and weather and climate and stuff, but really some of the efforts that are putting in, like we're talking about the Chum Derby you guys are doing, right? You guys put money back in the local fishery here. The Sport Fishing Institute of BC has got involved in helping with regulations and then that, and also the Pacific Salmon Foundation as well. But you guys really do something really cool, right? You're yeah. putting together putting well, together your derby money, right? Yeah, well, Greenways Land Trust is definitely our, uh, our, our charity of choice here locally because we we're able to actually uh, give the money right back straight here in Campbell River and, and that's help out. Where, and that's where a lot of these fish are going to, right? Yeah. How's that look? You just do what you got to do here. I know it's kind of awkward to net in between stuff, so. Thank you. You're supposed to fight the fish on your side, Brent. Hogging the sides of her. Well, this is a good fish here for sure. So we got the downrigger cable out here still, Brent, so just uh, keep it out. This is going to be either, oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. He's just not quite ready, no, eh? No, no. I just can barely see his tail. Watch the cable here. Yeah. Keep him outside there. I got a long net. I can see him down there. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh, no. No, he wasn't ready yet. <laughs> here he comes now. OK. Do it again. Lift up, head up. Nope. There we nice. go. <laughs> That's a good Chinook. Good oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good Chinook. That's a good Chinook. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Good job. Now, are you going to take this guy? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should. Yeah, OK. Beauty. That was a great fight. That was awesome, actually. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> we're just we're just talking like, hey, we're going to move. We're going to go wherever else, and all of a sudden, Driftwood, we thought. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Driftwood. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's driftwood. And then it went down again. But yeah. you know what? That's So that's caught on BC Outdoors teaser head again. Of course. Our custom yeah. one with the gl black glow flasher and the green bait. That's, what, 90% of the fish today, yeah, eh, Corey? Pretty working. much, at least. Yeah. yeah a little yeah, that's bit awesome. more, I think. Oh, that's Good. Great. Well, let's get this in the box. Yeah. Get that on your license. For and, sure. Awesome. awesome. Well, that was a great day. Yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> we had lots of fish. Yeah, a lot, lot of lots fun. And lots of fish. But we had... We had every species you're pretty much able to, minus the sockeye in this in the in the strait here, which yep. is great. It was right? the only one we missed. I don't think you can ask for anything better. We came in after a bit of a weather system went through, pro probably pushed the fish around, made them a little bit scarce, and uh, but we still managed to uh, drag up a few fish. Huh? Yeah, double header. That was yeah. good. Lots of secrets and tips learned. I hope the viewers yep, are going to enjoy this. Pull out the bag of tricks. And I learned a lot, for yeah. sure. It was good. a good day. Good. That was a good time for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's good. Well, thanks, Brent. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thanks Appreciate for having us. Yeah. Corey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. And thank you, folks, for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to you having to join us on a future episode. Your Toyota BC Dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing, made possible by Rapala, crafted from experience. Yamaha, conquer outdoors. Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, making fishing in BC even better. The Pacific Salmon Foundation, bringing them back stream by stream. Port Boat Hubs, our official servicing dealership, along with 